Hi, how are you doing today? So my name is Lisa Schwaller and I'm a life coach who works with people who, you know, they love a lot of things about their life, but they're very stressed out and they don't feel like they're having a lot of fun. And one thing that comes up pretty regularly is how to navigate when other people have opinions that are different than yours. And honestly, I see people on a range of reactions. So some people could care less what other people think. They're just not bothered by other people's opinions at all. And then there are people who seem sensitive to, they sense uh, discomfort or conflict when there's any difference of opinion, whether it's something political or how to raise your kids or how to load the dishwasher. <laughs> so I was really thinking about like, hmm, what's the difference between people who could care less what other people think and they just know their mind and go on their their day and people who really get upset by and uncomfortable with differences of opinions. And here's what I jotted down. I think people are a little bit more sensitive to the opinions of other when that other person's opinion challenges their view of themselves if it's out of alignment with their values, or if it's out of alignment for the desire for how things should work in the world. So there's things that are important to you or like values, and then even just kind of logistically, how should things work and how shouldn't they work? And sometimes people get really sensitive when there's differences of opinions expressed for each. And yet, uh, people are gonna have opinions and they're gonna have different opinions all day long. And so how do we handle it? If you're the kind of person who does seem to be a little bit more, you know, sensory reactive to what other people say, like, what can you do about that? You can express an opinion, but that other person is going to do what they're going to do. And whatever they think is just, it's about them. It's not about you. So how can you handle when other people's opinions activate a response in you that you find really uncomfortable? Well, you could just see other people's opinions as invitations. Really, every time somebody says something that bothers us, that is a beautiful opportunity. It's an invitation to figure out why. Like, why does something somebody else says or does so impactful for me? It really is an invitation to get to know yourself better and get to know your assumptions for how the world works and maybe even sometimes get to know that other person better. So I wrote down a list of questions you can ask when you're feeling activated into discomfort by something someone else says or does. You get to ask yourself, like, why do I think this person thinks this way? Like, why, why does that make sense in their mind? And how does the opinion that they have serve themselves and the communities that they participate in? You can ask, when did I first identify that I had disagreed with this opinion? So one thing that's really interesting is that sometimes we believe very firmly thing uh, about things that we never even knew existed 20 years ago or may not have even been in existence 20 years ago. So you may have an opinion about the Apple iPhone, this thing, this device that isn't even 20 years old. Isn't that interesting? You could ask, how did I first learn the opinion that I hold? This is a powerful question and one I use very often in my practices. Okay, so tell me when you learned this to be true and how did that opinion get formed in you? You know, rarely do you know, three month old babies have opinions about what's going on in the news. You know, that's learned along the way. Who modeled that? Where did I, was I adopting something else or even resisting against something that I saw personally in my life? And then asking yourself, what is the opinion that comes up for me when I hear the other person express their opinion? So if somebody says something on a topic where you have a very strong opinion and they express an opinion that's very different from you, what is the first feeling that you notice? And then do you notice that that feeling adjusts? So maybe you feel, you know, angry and then defensive and then you know, even maybe sometimes afraid of the opinion because it challenges your own opinions and causes a sense of not being quite as safe or stable. 
And then you can ask what truth or truths might we agree on? I personally think that truth is in the eye of the beholder. You know, even uh, sometimes in the work I do, they're like, if a judge wouldn't agree with it. And I'm like, well, the truth is that the changes on what is law and how you interpret the law, that happens all the time. Like there are laws that were on the books in, you know, 1820 that would seem ridiculous to us today. So truth is really in the eye of the interpreter. But with that in mind, is there something that you might both agree on in your opinion and their opinion that don't seem to align? Is there some common ground there? Is there a sense of a truth that you would agree on? And doing this work doesn't make you a good person who's thoughtful and empathetic. It's more to, to get your mind to look for something else. And that may end up being like, oh, I can totally see where they're coming from. And we probably do agree on these things that we would both label as truths, but it teaches your brain to engage with the process from more of a place of curiosity. The point isn't that you just go through life, you know, looking for mutual understanding. You can certainly do that, of course, but this teaching is really more when something activates you, instead of just like being in the grip of that activation, triggered as they call it, of developing the process of saying, oh, it's an invitation. Their opinion is an invitation to me to get to know what's going on with me and just build a longer reaction time between stimulus and response. So practice that this week. Could go out there, have Hang out with people who aren't comfortable for you to be around, whether it's in real life or virtually, and notice how every activation, every sense of being triggered, every sense of, of anger or defensiveness or hurt is an invitation for you to get to know you better. And from there, you get to decide if you would re-choose your opinion. It's beautiful. All right, have fun with that this week. <laughs>